Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough from Hades and uh well PK Gam's probably gonna be pretty angry this part. Because here comes the part. That that's a weird way that loads by the way. Did you see that? If you if you go out and it doesn't really sh oh, oh it would, uh if yeah if you have the camera at that right angle, you kinda mess with the way that this loads. And then it just kind of pops into existence. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we need to be in Deku form, of course. Because we see the flower. Now, uh, if you don't already have Deku nuts, and you probably should have gotten Deku nuts from all the stuff, uh, go get some. <laughs> Remember that mini game? Oh, it's back! <laughs> it's in another form, but it's back! And this one's a little bit more annoying because, well, we're gonna be shot at by stuff, and we gotta kill these, uh, angry s Oh, did you just cancel out my bubble? How dare you cancel out my bubble? It's easier to actually hit these things with Deku Nuts, but sometimes it's just a little, little bit scary to do that when you're in the air and then you get knocked out of the sky. And I'll just drop down here, just watch where your shadow is like before. And upsy doodle. Oh boy, we got four rooms of this. Oh no. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Get my spinny spin back. There we go. <laughs> I was a little bit off timing there, but I recovered. Oh, that was a lucky bubble. Because those things those things rarely hit anything as you just seen me do. Which is another thing that makes this place incredibly annoying to do. And our up we go. And this should give us magic power, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's for shooting bubbles in case you don't have the nuts. But the nuts are generally way better if you're able to get on top of them. Uh, I'm just scared of being shot at here. Because I don't want to be knocked off of anything. <laughs> it's like, this is one of the kinds of things that you're going to probably have to use a nut for. Because that sucker is way, way, way out of the way to be able to shoot a bubble. Oh, shoot. Oh, no! Well, you might as well throw me out because I have to restart all the way from the beginning. I told you this was annoying. <laughs> and look where he, they knock you out all the way to as well. They put you all the way back over here. So not only do you have to do that awkward minigame type platforming segment, like in that other place with nuts being shot at you, you've got to do it without falling once in an even lengthier procedure than that minigame ever was. So this is, I guess you could say, the, the thing that'll prime you for that minigame if you haven't found that minigame yet. But look, just look at this. That other deck, that, yeah, the mad scrub there, it's already back. And, oh, I got lucky. So every time you get thrown out too, those enemies respawn. Isn't that just lovely? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I should try shooting at that one that I missed from a distance. Um, you know what? I'm gonna try this. Cause this looks close enough to do. Okay, I can skip this at least. That'll little save me a little time. But I would probably like to get some more magic back just in case I miss with like a hundred bubbles. Cause I'm gonna go try going for uh, this right here. All right, let's hope for the best. Oh, cancel each other out. Let's hope for the best here. Come on, we can do it! Oh yeah, finally! <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna go over to that middle one there. And hop down on top of it. This one shouldn't be that difficult. Now that I'm not being shot at. And I'm gonna head on over to this one here. And then I'm gonna have to start shooting at this one quickly before it shoots at me and knocks me off the platform. Because that can happen too. And oh, I got a little heart there as a drop. Get hurt some enemies every so often, though we haven't really seen all that many enemies yet, have we? <laughs> if you think about it. Um, so I wasn't really able to. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. I wasn't really able to explain that other than with the uh, red choo choos. Uh, is that. Where? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to get myself over to this platform when it's coming towards me. This one goes in two directions. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this one to go back in the other direction. And there we go. I'm just playing this super safe here because this is not the friendliest of places. And wait until it goes high enough, otherwise you won't make it. 
And there we go. Checkpoint ish. Yes. 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 Alright, now that we're in the monkey cage, we can actually do stuff. I keep saying that I kidnapped her. No matter how many times you see it, I'm not gonna bring the princess back. Be that careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. I won't believe what I say. Fine, I get it. Then I shall say nothing more to you. Punish me or do it or else you might. So yeah, you get a bit of different dialogue here, but the thing we're aiming for here is to pull out the power of... Oh wait, I thought... Oh, come on, though. We need... I have nothing else to say to you, Deku Scrubs. Do his... Oh! He's angry at Deku Scrubs. Okay. They won't notice you as a human here. That's why you need to be in the cage. That's right. I forgot about that. For some reason, they won't notice you if you're here as as a human, despite watching the monkey the whole time, or maybe they're not watching the monkey, I don't know, anyway. Oh, you, how did you get in here? Shh, if they see you, they capture you. But my brothers asked for your help. Ugh, I'm terribly sorry. By the way, that window up there, you can't really go through, it's just there for detailing. Just try to cut my rope. Well, we'll talk after that. Alright. No good after all. Wait, you don't happen to have something that can make a lot of noise, like a loud instrument with sound that carries a long way. If you have one, show it to me. How about this ocarina? A tiny thing will never do. Its sound won't carry far enough. Don't you have something else? Oh, I've got something else. Check out these pipes. Ah! Oh, you have them! You do! Just like the princess, Deku pipes! Those will work great! By the way, who are you? Oh, sure, now he yes. asks. Mm, oh, well, it's not important now. Just listen to me. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. I do understand, but you're kind of tied up at the moment. Yes, I, I, I did that one. So then, that means you'll go in my place to save the princess! I'm, I, I guess, yes, yes. Okay, now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll sing it softly. Got it! Oh yeah. This is probably the time where it'd be a little bit easier using the C stick rather than the buttons so you don't get confused, or at least for me it will. I was not holding those notes long enough to really play the song, but there we go! Behold! The Sonata of Awakening! Woo! And even there, dancing to the music. Oh, so they did notice us after all. What the poop. I don't quite understand. <laughs> but what, what I do understand is we've got a song that is important for progress. Heck, yeah! I learned the Sonata of Awakening. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Everyone, do you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku Royal family knows, it proves the foolish monkey to save the princess so he can enter the temple! Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence! No! No! And we get thrown out. We better take the shortcut that the Deku people use to get to the Woodfall Temple! But you must hurry! If you don't, I'll be punished by the Deku King! And... We're thrown out. This is exactly where you need to be for once, though, so that for once the game isn't being repetitive for the sake of being repetitive. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. I just want to see the dialogue here for kicks. See if they trust me now that I got officially thrown out by the King. I told you not to enter any areas either. Alright. They still let me in! Unbelievable! Alright. Yep, they're- oop, they are dunces. By the way, um, I, the reason why I hit that sign is because I'm always spinning when I go off the edge just to give myself a little extra speed. Spinning is like rolling in Zelda games where it gives you a little bit more speed to move around. It just lets me get a little bit farther, a little bit quicker. That's why I'm doing all those spins and rolls. Alright, Southern Swamp. This is a pathway only for Dekus, as you remember. And we have... A, a dragonfly! Oh no! Not the dragonflies! Beware my bubbles. Take that! I'll never hit you with my bubbles at this distance, will I? But I will be able to shoot if you're close enough, if I'm lucky. Yeah! You definitely want to clear them out before uh, 
you have any issues here, and you probably will not be able to hit them with a bubble unless you get close, as I said. So I'm trying to attract their attention. I don't think... Well, maybe I can kind of... Oh, there's a rupee. Oh, I'm, I lost the rupee. Because I took a little too long. Oh, wait. Did, did you see me? Did you see me? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, that, that's good enough. So what they, what they do is they swoop down at you and zap you with their tails. But, well, I didn't even let that happen. So now what we got to do is get ourselves over the swamp. Now, this is the other side of the swamp. See that? Yeah, that Octorok there. It, this is the, the hole that you've seen behind that boat cruise uh, cabin we entered, Woodfall. And by the way, we would not have that map at the bottom right corner if we didn't have the uh, the power of buying Tingle's, ma <laughs> Tingle's map. So, yeah, thank you, Tingle, I guess. Yes. Even though we should have it automatically, but whatever. By the way, you'll notice that there was a hole down over there as well, but I'm not taking that bottom path yet or anything like that to do that sort of exploration. I'm just going and take taking the high route here just because. And I'm going to go around. And this is connected to the platform. Just carefully navigate your way around here. And now here it comes. Remember? Oh, yes. Remember? December. Oh no. Yep, as soon as he touched the platform. Okay, poor Gabor begins blabbing. What? This is a rare sight. You're a fairy child, correct? What a business might he have in this poison swamp? If you dare not venture further, I shall pass no judgment. It is better that you hurry back to town. Is it? The moon's gonna destroy everyone. The swamp you are in has lost its guardian deity. But it was destined to fate, anyway. Ooh, and that destiny is not solely limited to the swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. Before coming here, had you not seen any of the stone statues that bear a close resemblance to me? Oh, I have. Unfortunately. I have placed those throughout the land to aid the one with the power to change the destiny of this land, wherever he may appear. If you have left proof of our encounters in any of those stone statues, then the song carved to my feet will certainly be of some assistance. Remember it well, and play it wherever the need arises. From the first time you play this song, we shall become eternal friends, transcending time and place. Um, do I, do you really want to be friends with, never mind. So, this is right here. Check this out. Notes are carved into the stone. So we whip out our ocarina our pipes. This is the Song of Soaring. This is the thing that I said that they would teach you in the 3DS version as soon as you enter the area where the boat is, if you go to the right side. Da 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 da. Behold the song of soaring which will let us fly anywhere that there's an owl statue and there aren't that many owl statues but where they're placed are a little bit helpful for moving around rather quickly. So I got the song of soaring. This melody swoops you up and sends you soaring to a stone bird statue in an instant. Alright. There's no stone there's no bird statue though there, so we still gotta progress a little bit further to actually reach one. That's okay though, because I am up for that. This next area is not all that large. This is the final area, well, ish, I should say. It's, a, it's the actual woodfall place here. Yep, yep, yep. There's three little treasure chests hanging out over there. And there's also a fairy fountain here, but the fairy is split into multiple pieces again. So. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 all the fairies in this land are having issues, let me just put it that way. Now you've got a new critter over here. This is a hip loop. They're hot-headed, so if you see them, they will attack you like crazy. But you can shoot them at them from a distance. Maybe. <laughs> just, just maybe you'll be able to shoot at them from a distance. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you're, you are not knocking me into the poison. Oh shoot! The camera! <laughs> That's gonna be probably pretty annoying too, because that can happen here. But I, I will prevail. I hope. I, I really wish I had some better projectiles in a bubble. Although I could use my sword, I know. But if you turn around, you're just, you're just gonna give me all sorts of ire left and right. Okay. By the way, the uh, oh, I got hit by a nut. By the way, the formation 
you can actually guard yourself here, but the formation of that grassy stuff looks like a honeycomb pattern. Die! Get out of my way, you son of a... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I am going to go, I think, down over this way. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. And bombs away! Woo! There we go. Oh, jeez, you almost knocked me off just by me killing you. Uh, that flower is just sort of to kind of to get back. I'm not going to need to use that until a little bit. I need to go and get up to that spot over there. See that? You can just barely reach it from here. And uh, Oh, wait, maybe this is... Oh, no, the barely thing is something else. Is this a Decuscub mark? I wonder if they worshipped here. Well, anyway, look at this. Look at this. It's it's an owl statue. Yes! 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 So now we can soar around. And by soar around, I mean as long as we... Oh, oh shoot, that was a fairy. Fairies are covered a lot. Oh, can I get that with a bottle? Um, maybe I can. Fairy, fairy, foo-foo, hopping through the forest or something with the lyrics. And quickly grab! Yes, I got it! Woo! I got a fairy in a bottle! Oh, yeah! Actually, I probably shouldn't have grabbed this now, because I am I think I'm going to end up uh, resetting time before I actually do the temple, so... Just, just to give myself the maximum amount of time, because I, I've sort of hit a checkpoint now that I've got this uh, owl statue set up here. Uh, but, there's still the thing... Oh, that treasure chest over there. Yeah, I, I would kind of like to... I kind of like to grab some of the- oops! I kind of like to grab some of that stuff, but I think my wallet is going to be too full to be able to hold that. So, I'm going to go soar over to Clock Town and fill up the bank with all the rupees that I've collected. So this is how it works here, you just select the location, mash the A button, and there you go. So, woo! We fly through the sky! And then we plop out over here. Yeah, this is right by the bank, which is fairly convenient, though not as convenient as the 3DS one, where they put you even closer to the bank, because they move the bank's location entirely. The, um, uh, the whole thing of the bank and owl statue is made to be a lot more convenient, just to kind of speed things along for you, basically. There's a lot of things that were made more convenient in the uh, 3DS version, which makes it a whole, whole lot better game. But anyway, alright, we're going to deposit. Uh, eight, I'm trying to think of the quickest path through the menu. There we go. There we go, yes I am, I guess. 402 rupees, yay! And now... I can soar right back on over to Woodfall and flop around that place looking for treasure chests and stuff like that. So, here we go. That is the power of the Song of Soaring. But, remember, you cannot use the song on statues that you haven't already found and stuck with your sword, so... Yeah. By the way, do you get a fairy every time you open this? Yes, you do. So I can safely reset time and just re-grab it with the bottle. But anyway, let's transform into our Deku and continue our exploration around the perimeter here. Because now we can just kind of flop on up here whenever we want to with the Song of Soaring. Careful, careful, careful. Can I land like right on top of that just for fun? I can. Okay. Now carefully don't drop in the water, please. <laughs> It'll probably pop me back up on the platform. Oh, it's only five rupees. I thought there was a lot more rupees here. Oh, whatever. All right, we continue along this path here for more treasure chests. It's just kind of leading you in into a circle here. And I'm just trying to clear out everything because there's, there's a heart piece coming up, basically. Come on, come on. Yo, I got really lucky there. It's Oh, no, I got terribly lucky there at the camera. Yeah, I grumble the whole time, okay. <laughs> and wait, wait, hold on a sec. There is yeah, that is oh shoot, I'm gonna be oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna be attacked, but well. Yeah, that's fine. Where's the dragonfly? I hear you, I hear you. You are not going to zap me. Nope, not a chance. Not a chance in Denmark. Um 
Uh, I'm probably better off bombing away this one from the sky. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh no! Oh, that! I got really lucky there. Okay. I don't know how that didn't hit me, but it didn't hit me. I really do not like the design of this because it just doesn't seem to really allow you to approach them. <laughs> like, ever. I mean, I guess I could do this when I get a better shooting item than a stinking bubble. But, well, well, I'm, I'm doing it now because I guess I'm a glutton for punishment. And there we go. Oh, wait, I need to go in this one. I don't need to go in this one at all. Alright, carefully now. Get over there. Open says me. I get. I get. I get a heart piece. Why did that take so long? Anyway, <laughs> that was just like not the usual pace of that whatsoever. All right, the other chest is over there, which you can just barely see in the reeds, but you can see very clearly on the map. And then I will hop down onto it like so. There we go, and this gives me red rupee. Yeah, I guess my wallet would have had enough enough room to carry all those rupees that I was was finding and whatnot. And then this over here leads back over to here. Yup, yup, yup. The um fairy fountain that I was talking about is all the way over. Uh, I gotta I'll speed things along here. What? I th okay, there we go. I was going to say, I thought I played the notes correctly there. That was, that was weird. Alright, Song of Soaring. The, the thing that I was going to show you, the, the fairy fountain is up over... Like, in the wall of sorts, I do believe. And I think you can't really access that until you unleash the temple, I guess you could say. But let's just see if I can... Uh, I just want to take a peek, see around. See, it's, it's right up there. And, wait, maybe I can get in there with, with a flower. Um, hold on a sec. Because, see, normally what you do is... You don't have a flower over there, unless... Wait, wait, no, you do have a flower over there. I'm being dumb. Hold on here. And... Voila! I'm lucky that you popped your head out of there, because that might have caused me ire. And now we are going to go in here. Yeah, I forgot that this was the pathway. It's it's a little quicker once you do other stuff. Let's just put it that way. And then here's the fairy fountain of the swamp. And they're like, man, kind young one, please hear my plea. Please find the fairies trapped inside one full temple who match your color. Please bring them back to us. And... Yeah, the Woodfall Temple has got fairies. And this is another one of those things where you can't save your game officially until you, uh... Yeah, until you've got all the stuff from something, otherwise you're gonna have to restart from the beginning. So, here comes another one of those long stretches where you can't save. Although, I, I mean, I guess if you know where you're going in the temple, it's not that long. It's actually a pretty small place. But just imagine trying to do this on a uh, first playthrough. Yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> now just just imagine a clock just ticking down to your pending demise. You may have over two hours worth of time if you play the song of double time, but it just doesn't feel like enough when you're scrambling and looking around for what could amount to be hours for some of the obscure fairy locations that you'll be seeing soon enough. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, there we go. Yes, I need something. I would like to deposit stuff before I reset time because I got a checkpoint thanks to that owl statue as well as getting the the song from the monkey. Yeah, you really can't do any sort of game saving until you get that song. And then you can't really do any saving after that until you get over to the owl statues. So I decided to just do everything at once since I could use owl statues to kind of manipulate things a little bit in the save system anyway. But yeah, um, all the stuff that I'm going to have in my inventory, I will be sort of kind of erase. Oh, shoot! Shoot! 
I forgot to do something, so I'm not going to save the game. I should say hard to save the game just to, uh well act mm, uh cuz ah uh, that cuz I forgot to take a picture of the Deku King with the pictograph box. Ah well I will be back through there later. So I mean I guess I I can save my game thusly if I wanted to. So you know what I I will song of time it up. So yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna let this save my game and whatnot, and then I'll be able to do a pictograph a little bit later on. With that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. But make no mistake, I'm still going to talk over this outro here, because watch the stuff fall on my pockets. Look at that. That just it's just inconvenient for the sake of inconvenience. <laughs> and by the way, I'm talking to avoid copyright, obviously. <laughs>